welcome back to Cab Dallas. You're joining us here for the last few days of training before we head to Gurgle. Unfortunately, I lost the audio to this and a few other clips. I think it's because of the cold. In this week's video, the last video that you'll see before we race, I wanted to show you what our training looks like during our final prep for the races. I asked you some questions and I'm gonna try and answer them through this video. It's been an awesome camp here up north. We've got a lot of reps in and we did have a little fun while we were doing it. My warm up this week is the same as ever. And today I've also brought up my baby poles just because I wanted to challenge my balance and really force myself to engage forward. Taking refuge. We should really get going. We should, but it's so warm in here. You say, oh, what time is it? Well, Spaniards didn't seem to be in any rush. 29. <laughs> in the week before, we start to taper things down, going from six runs of the full course to today, two from the top and two from halfway. As well as reducing fatigue, the starting halfway was good because we heard Gurgle was quite steep out of the gate, so we wanted to be ready for that. Unfortunately, the cold made my GoPro decide it was out of battery at 79%. So that was the end of the footage, I'm afraid. My feet are freezing. I need to get these off and head to lunch. Then I'm going to try and answer some of these questions. <laughs> I'm going to hit some more recovery based stuff later but for the moment feet up and chill out anyone uh, on the free pair of skis some sitting at the bin so where the vocals belong here Dave hey. I said that's where the vocals belong eh yeah that's <laughs> Sebby <laughs> One of the questions I had was about the sort of physical side of things leading into the races. How much are we lifting? What are we doing for recovery? Um, this morning, less runs, two full lengths, two half lengths. So volumes coming down. And then in the afternoons, the lifting. Lifting, you lifting anymore, Dave? Hey? You lifting anymore? What do you mean? You do any lifting? Does it look like a do lifting? Bloody <laughs> does. Massive. Bloody. <laughs> <laughs> lifting has gone down. We're in Project Fresh. Oh, now. Well, Dave's actually had a bit of a cold, so we're keeping a Whoa. we're keeping a like a maximum a, mi a minimum two meter distance COVID protocol here. This afternoon we've come out for a bit of a walk to the gym, and then core and stretch probably. Dave. Aye. Aye. Keep things fired and activated, but just uh, recovery. Actually, Dave, what would be your number one tip for maximum recovery? Huh. Well, sleeping's maximum recovery, if you're being honest. So you just go to bed? Go to bed. See <laughs> <laughs> some teams doing a bit more lifting still, keeping it yeah, activation, but 
especially with my hip last week, I'm really keeping it low. A recovery session for me includes mobility, core, stretching, and some stability and balance. That's the session done in the gym. Now I'm boosting back to the house because I have a session with my sports psychologist and so that you know that brings me to some of the quite a few of the questions I had were to do with the mental side of things the mental prep how do we prepare mentally am I nervous um, and for me like the mental side of the sport is uh, is huge after last season I definitely struggled quite a bit in places so it's something I've really wanted to try and harness this year and I started working uh, with a sports psychologist in um, in the sort of in the spring and uh, yeah it's been going really well so I have a session now sort of the last one leading into the races I'll come back to these questions later when we're where me Billy and Dave uh, all traveling because we're going to train tomorrow get dropped at the airport and then we're going to be flying down Tristan Jai Alan will be driving Brad he got on a plane today um, to Belgium where one of our vans is and then he's going to be driving that to Munich to pick us up tomorrow I need to get back so I can get on this call we've got a swallow this summer you say that was a 30 degree wash? No, I just got bigger. Can't put muscle on chin, but you can on body. Look at that. <sighs> right. I think you know the drill by now. Leaving tomorrow. That means packing up an unidentifiable, unorganized mess of clean clothes mixed with almost clean clothes, dirty clothes behind the door. It's a system, we're shooting off straight after skiing tomorrow. Plan is three runs from halfway, so starting from the top of the pitch, down, pack up and boost. The pack up and boost bit is never as quick as you think it's gonna be, because there's a lot of skis. Anyway, I'm getting on with this. Final day, and we've got Bluebird. Also looks like probably the coldest day. Over mitts are out. Oh, Billy knows where it's at, he's got them too. I like it cold, this is too cold. <laughs> you know what you need when it's this cold? A David Ryden merch hat. And where can you find those, Dave? You can find them on Ski Race Supplies, live and direct. Come out oh. here now. Get on there and get your Dave Ryden merch. If, if you don't get there in time, Charlie Paul's is going to buy it all because he, he loves it. <laughs> don't tell Head. Don't tell Head. I'm not allowed to carry these. <laughs> Just waiting for the old boy who wanted another run. More stamina than me and Billy, he stayed out for an extra. Pre-season 
power block. Excellent. Excellent block. Mike is out. <clears throat> See you guys down south. In a couple of days, huh? <laughs> yeah. Down See you down there. A fair bit of driving left for them. Oof. It's raining. It's pouring. Dave's driving. After being up north so long, it was nice to see some colour. But the sun was going to take some getting used to. And Dave Riding is taking us on a tour. <laughs> You've got a little, uh, a little fanfare. <laughs> They're going to come out with the trumpets. The arrival of the board. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the massive welcome party for you, Dave? I wanted to, with this video, explain as I go and sort of answer and touch on the questions through the video. I did manage some but it doesn't always work out and I really didn't get around to most of these. So sitting here I'm gonna finish up this video with some of these questions. What are some of the things you've been working on technically and tactically? One of the big things for me has been consistency so tactics play a huge part in that. One big thing I've worked on is having sort of trigger points and key points in the course so having areas where I'm gonna go full hammer and then also having key points where I'm just gonna dial it back because it's easy for me to get carried away and just hammer in. The point and shoot method can be quite quick but the finish rate is also quite low so I can use my brain and if you want to see more on that you can head over to my Patreon page where I've already uploaded a few different analysis of my video and I sort of discuss, I discuss what I'm looking at, what I'm looking for and what I want to improve and we can chat about it in the comments. So go check that out. Is it weird for you to start the season with a completely new slope? Yes. So I'm excited for it. It looks pretty sweet up here to be honest and uh, they're rolling out the red carpet for Dave. What's not to like about that? There's been a lot, quite a few questions on mental preparation. The question, am I nervous? Honestly, I'd probably say I'm, I'm just excited. I'm, I, I wanna race now. I wanna, I just wanna get going. Um, nervous, I guess you could say that, but that you can, ner nerves can have a connotation on e either way. It can be, you can think about, about it in a bad way or, in a good way I guess for me like I think about it yeah my heart rates going up um, but 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 it's not a bad feeling for me it's I'm excited uh, in terms of tools uh, that I use to sort of get that under control or, or feel prepared or take shake any anxiety or, or pressure I do a lot of visualization so like imagining race days Another one for me is breathing. So there's a lot of breathing techniques that can help, but I, yeah, just for me, deep breaths and uh, visualizing what I want, what I'm gonna do, that is, that's my go-to. How is the mustache going? I mean, pretty good. What is going through your mind before the start? You know what, if I remember, I'll answer this one in next week's video on the actual race day. Afterwards, I'll have a little evaluation and I'll tell you what was going through my mind. What are your goals for this season? For me, it is consistency. Consistently putting down runs in the top 30, take my ranking into the top 30 and ultimately top 20. Yeah, that would be amazing. Why have you changed back to the POC helmet? The Oakley helmet just didn't fit me as well as the POC helmet and it was basically just sizing wise. I was kind of between sizes with the Oakley. I had to go with the big one because the small one was too small. The POC helmet is just right, so it was m more comfortable for me. What do you eat on race day? You will see, I'll show you next week. Europa Cup win or World Cup point? I'm gonna have to say World Cup point at this stage. Every little helps. I wanna be ranked in the 30, every, every little helps. So I would take, I would take that World Cup point. And that is it for this week's video. Thank you for watching. If you've watched all the way to the end, 
make sure you go down hit the subscribe button like leave a comment tell me what you think and if you haven't already go check out my patreon page i'm posting on there all the time lots of different content like ski analysis my raw video behind this extra behind the scenes and other more in-depth insights into what's going on so be sure to head over and check that out uh, not much to it now but to race so see you next week for race time this will be Friday when you're watching this, and tomorrow is race day, so wish us luck. See you next week. Thank you for getting the door, sir. Taxi for Taylor Major. <laughs> Taylor Major. Uh, Who followed you guys on Instagram? Lori <laughs> Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> the best day of my life. <laughs>